Hello, hello, this is Pavel with the C++ exercise from uh, the book Starting out with C++ from control structures to objects and we got a chapter 6, exercise 6 very simple, fa uh, fairly simple uh, write a function named kinetic energy that accepts uh, an object's mass in kilograms and velocity in meters uh, or in seconds uh, it accepts these uh, as uh, arguments, the function will accept it as arguments, and the function should return the amount of kinetic energy that the object has. We will demonstrate that the function works properly by you know, c calling it in a program uh, that asks the user to enter values for mass and velocity. Uh, here is our formula, kinetic energy equals uh, one half or 0 0.5 times uh, the mass times velocity to the power of 2. So we get one function. Uh, so, uh, all right, let's do that. I get my main method right here. And uh, we know that we will need a function, so I'll write a prototype. Uh, and it will, it will return the kinetic uh, energy. So I assume it's in double. Uh, so it will return double kinetic, I'll call it kinetic energy, that's my function, and it tells us right there that we it accepts the, the mass and the velocity as arguments, so uh, we know that it, it needs to take the mass, um, you know, I'll just do mass in, as integer only, and um, also it's going to be the integer velocity, I'll call it V. Okay, so this is our prototype, and uh, in our main method, we will obviously need the mass and velocity as well, and we will also need the kinetic energy that will be the result of the calculation, so I'll call it K KE, that's our kinetic energy. Uh, kinetic energy, and uh, since this is integer m and integer v mass and velocity so it's integer m i'll initialize it to zero uh, that's the that's the mass and integer v again initialized to zero and this is the velocity so now we will ask the user to enter the the values so please enter mass in kilograms and we will accept the uh, input and that's the mass so it's our uh, variable m so it will be stored in our variable m and we'll do the same for the velocity please enter uh, velocity in meters per second like that and that we will store in our variable v v as velocity all right so th we, this is our input now our function uh, we already have the prototype so i will just uh, use that kinetic energy and it accepts the m for, for mass and it accepts the v for velocity we already know that now the only thing that this function will do is uh, perform the calculation so I don't even need any more variables. I can simply return the result of the calculation. And the, re the formula is uh, one and, uh, 0 po 0 0.5 times m times v to the power of 2. So it will return uh, 0 0.5 uh, times m. And that will be multiplied by to the power of 2. So it's power of 2 of the velocity. So it's our V and the power of two, so it's number two. So in other words, this, this will be performed, the calculation will be performed and returned back to our code over here in our main. So, uh, but of course, we, we, and we need, we'll store the, uh, store the output in our variable KE, our kinetic energy. So uh, it will simply call the, call the function and it will pass the m and v as variables and after it hits the, the function 
it performs the calculation and it returns it and it returns it and passes it to our KE. So our KE now holds the result of this calculation. And uh, now we can simply, uh, I guess, output it. So um, see out and uh, I'll output it on, I'll start a new line. Uh, kinetic energy of this object is and it is whatever is stored in our variable ke and uh, yeah that's all i will just do end of line okay well, that should actually be all uh, so let me let me test that and we got an error uh, over here it says uh, warning uh, over here pow was not declared in this code uh, and that's because I did not import, I did not include the uh, math header. All right, so uh, let's try it again. And here we go. So, um, yeah, I don't know, 10 kilograms and velocity, I don't know, 100. And it says kinetic energy of this object is 50,000. Well, Let's see if that's true. So I'll get my calculator. And uh, what were my values again? <laughs> I forgot. Uh, so it was 100. So it's 100 times 100. That's 100 to the power of 2. Times m was 10. Times 0 0.5. And it is indeed 50,000. So uh, that seems to be working fine. Uh, let me try with the what if I do something like well if I do zero it will just return zero I suppose uh, so of course so and there is no division so they will, it's not going to return any like a division by zero error or anything like that and uh, if I try to pass uh, in, uh, decimal places they will be simply ignored uh, it, it, it cannot process it because it, uh, you know we are we are asking f for integers not for uh, floats or doubles so okay so um, there you have it and um, you know fairly simple very very simple uh, function that with passes the result of the calculation back to our variable and then we will output the variable. That's all there is to it. So I hope it helped you and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.